as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's time for bed. Come on, I'll tuck you in a little bit. Oh, hi. Welcome, you're just in time for the party. Would you like a cheese puff? Hello. I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm having a dinner party and I seem to run out of coffee. You can be anything you want to be there. There's excitement in the air for you and me there. Fancy free there. Take your family there. But you've got to be there. Yeah. You just got to be there. You'll feel free there. You'll be what you want to be. See what you want to see. Seven holes. Can they see me? Can you see me? Are you seeing us? Can you see us? Can you see us? Oh, I look like death warmed up, don't I? Bloody hell. <laughs> How are you feeling, Dal? I don't know. We've been, we've not been well, have we? No, we woke up the other day queer, didn't we? <laughs> we did, we did. Oh, get enough of that. Stop it. Bloody hell. Hello, everyone. This is cough mixture. It makes it, it makes them go, doesn't it? No, no one's let us know if they can see us. Can you see us? Can you hear us? Can you see us or hear us? Yes, we can, says Rob Morgan. Uh, the boys from Perspiration Creations are not very well either, are they? No, they've not. They thought they had COVID, but they haven't. They've tested. They've had a test. It's just one little red line. Have you tested? Yeah, I have six red lines. I don't know what that means. Oh, oh hello, everybody. Sorry, it's the cock mixture. Right, what do we do to start with? Apparently you've got to read and say hello. To everybody? Yeah, if they can see us. There's a lot of names. Right. We've got someone called Tracy30. Oh, yeah. We've got someone called Pauline Grant. Oh, yeah. She says, just setting down for. And then she doesn't finish that sentence. Sorry? She doesn't finish that sentence. Perhaps, just... perhaps she's got a bit of... I don't know if people can hear that. <laughs> we can hear it, but I don't know if they can, can hear it. Can you hear it? it? Can you hear this? Okay, Pauline Grant is just settling down for the perfect evening. <coughs> uh, Tracy30 says she's in New York. Oh, is she? She's on holiday. Yeah, I think so. Uh, she we says, went to New York, didn't we? The other week. We went to York. Oh, York, yeah. Well, it was new to me. Um, she says, the temperature just dropped. It was nearly 70 yesterday. 70 what? Snowflakes? 70 centigrade. What do we have over here? C C Celsius? We have Celsius. Oh, Celsius. Uh, Lily Law is in, and uh, Paul McFarlane is in. You know him, don't I you? I do, yeah. He's from Scotland, isn't he? Yeah. Hello, Paul. Uh, let me see anyone else. David Moore is here. Oh, is he? Yep, Lee Ludlow is in. Oh. Hang on. Lee Ludlow says, I'm just popping in to say we won't be in tonight. Eh? Stuart is in the hospital. Oh, no. As his foot isn't getting any better. 
I'm indoors with the dogs and not feeling very chatty tonight. Oh, give our love to Stuart Cahoon, Dal. All right. So, and yeah, love, lots of love to you both. And to your little doggies. Uh, but, uh, Coral Daft is in. They are in Scarborough still. Are they in Scarborough? They're having jam sheds. <laughs> I don't like jam sheds. It's too sickly. Um, Seven Network is in. It says, hello, you lovely lot. Yeah. Is it just this? I just read names. Yeah, they love it, apparently. <laughs> I just read names. Yeah. <laughs> um, <coughs> right. Oh, you have to excuse me. The Duchess is in, and apparently, I think the Duchess is not a, a royalty. She's not real. She's not really a Duchess. All oh, right. Scylla Black is in. Oh, you like Scylla Black, don't you? Oh, I do. <laughs> 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 what? I don't know what's coming over me. You like Scylla Black, don't you? I do, you? yeah. Do you miss her programmes? <coughs> what was it? Stop it. Stop Sorry. it now. Put it down. What was your favourite Scylla Black programme? Oh, I like that quiz when she said to the family, Dad, you're going on holiday. Yeah. Mum, you've got a, a new back kitchen. <laughs> yeah. The top girl, teenage girl, you've got a bike. Or a Walkman. Or a Walkman. And the little kids got loads and loads of Lego. And as they got the questions wrong, she took the prize. <coughs> she took the prizes away from them. You liked that, didn't you? Yeah. Was that your favourite one? Yeah. Uh, right, what else have we got? We've got... Uh, we have... Uh, Paul, I've said Paul McFarlane. I've you said have. Seven Network. I've said Ross Morgan. Have I said Ross Morgan? You have, yeah. Oh, you're on screen. Oh, look at me laughing. Uh... You've got uh, Gareth in Porto is watching. Yeah. Hello to Porto. He says hola, which is Spanish for hello. I don't know where Porto is. It's in Portugal. Oh, is it? Do you remember we went there? Is that where that drink comes from that makes me go... <laughs> Do you remember we went to Portugal? Yeah. You had, you had that custard pie. Oh, yeah. And you said it was burnt, so you sent yeah, it back. Yeah, I threw it at him, didn't I? <laughs> you did. I said, can you burn puddings you, to, you, to yourself, you... Nibbles and Bubbles is in. Ah, oh, I like them too. Only a Paw is in. Oh, that's that, a new name. Is that a little doggy? It's a little doggy or a little cat. I can't see it on here. Oh. Uh, can you see it? Have you got Sorry? your... What glasses have you got on? Can you see it? I've got my far away glasses on. Can you read this then? Yeah, just about. <laughs> All right. What about uh, Joel Hazeldean is in and BG Bear is in. <laughs> Will you stop pressing them so we can... I can't concentrate... Hugh Bonnet is in, Dale Libertson is in, SDM, SDM is in, and Gary Brooks is in. Oh, yeah. Uh, anyone else, anyone else? When you say in, where are they? They're in that box They're there. They're in that little black, black screen. Yeah. Um, like them, Pete, I, Pete Pertovsky is in. Like them baddies in Superman 2. Pete Pertovsky is in. Oh, Pete Pertovsky. Yeah, he's in. David Maudsley is in. Yeah. Emotional Urban Homestead UK is here. <laughs> uh, I think I'm not even halfway through these. Uh, Marcia Maudsley is in. Yeah. Linda Lahues is in. Linda Lahues, yeah. Yeah. Pip is in. Pip says shalom to shalom, everyone. Shalom, shalom. Uh, right, I think that's everyone. Hang on. There's loads of names. Uh, oh. So I think I've by you, isn't it? I think I've done them all. Um, SDM says, I'm so pleased I remember that the boys were going to be live tonight. We just settled down to watch a documentary about Jimmy Savile, so that'll keep. We won't, we won't dwell on Savile. Uh, hang on, hang on. Anyone else? Anyone Gary else? Brooks, is he new? I've said hello to Gary Brooks. Diangela is in. Oh, hi, Diangela. Um, Nibbles and Bubbles says, I, I say, can you see it about 20 times a day to the kids? And I think of you two every single time. I don't know. I honestly don't know if people can hear that. Can you hear it? Can you hear me laughing? Uh, let us know if you can hear Pam Pie sound effects. Right? Pam Pie sound effects, yes. Or Pampai sound effects, no. 
Oh, that's a washing up gone. Only a poor is in Newcastle upon Tyne. Oh, Newcastle upon Tyne, all mine, all mine. Have you been there? Yeah. You like that programme from there, don't you? Uh, Geordie uh, one. Yeah, it's that was a. Uh, Sh- builders. Geordie Shaw, the one. No. With, the one with Spuggy in it. No, I don't like Geordie. I don't know about the builders. Uh, Hooky Street. Yeah, no, that's um. Uh, I could be so good to you. No, no. no. Uh, that's living all right. That living all right. <laughs> Working all day for a pocket. <coughs> that one. <coughs> Send uh, me off. They can hear Pampo sound effects. We can hear it. Right. Okay. Stop over, it. Over here. You can read them, Pam. Have you got what have you got on your seat? Far away is on. I can't wait really to see it. Do you want me to put? Them Joel, William, Joel William Hazel Dean. Is it? Have you got? You've got to say hello to him. Hi, darling. Neil Sandwell, Lady Sandwell. And Lord Henry Medicine Woman. Hello. <laughs> Beth and Williams from South Wales. Look, she lives in Ammonford. Ammonford. Did Ammonford used to do the Generation game? Do you know, I couldn't send her Christmas cards because I couldn't write Ammonford, Carmathers, <laughs> could you? You could read this one, though. That's more simple. Mark Hall. Mark Hall. You're not going to be able to read that one, are you? Let's go, Philippe. Jack of Cookies. Four in the bras. Darren Bramley, yellow yeah, Darren Bramley, the nickel Bramley apple. Darren Bramley says he can, he's watching on both sides, but can only chat on Facebook. Mrs. And Bra- Becca is in France. She is in putting wood on fire. Oh, we'd love a, a fire, wouldn't we? A wooden fire. Do you remember th- we had only fire the other way, didn't we? Open fire. Sorry, we had an open fire. No, the kitchen's on fire. Oh yeah, we did. Grab some warm, wasn't it? I did chips. It took me half an hour to bring up the fire brigade. Okay, that one. Ribbons. Bob, ribbons, Bobbins, Woofer. Angela, Angela Willis. Melanie Fairley. <coughs> I'm starting again. Sarah Simpson. Hi, Sarah Simpson. D- David Moore. He says, I've just popped in from the YouTube bar to see how the nicer Facebook people are. Mm, in the bar? He's popped over to the bar. Oh. I think Sherry just dropped loads of glasses. There we go, that one's in. Here she is. Here she is. Timmy Alexis Carrington Ward is in. She said it. Oh, <laughs> she liked that, was she? She's like an impression. I said it. <laughs> I hope you're laughing at that, darling, so I love you. Who's that one? Stephanie at work. Stephanie's at work. Jason Rigby. Oh, now I'm wrong button! <laughs> that one. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm, that was my huge job. Not the other one. Martin Gar- Garten Spencer. Uh, there are a lot of posh people in there. Lots of posh people in that one. Little Nibbles. Little Nibble Nibble Bubbles. Ah, oh, Nigel at sea. Nigel and Neil are in. Nigel and Neil. They're in Darling. I think that's everyone. Right, so... Oh, no, he's in. He's in. How are you? Andrew and, Storr. Andrew Storr, maybe Mrs. Storr as well. The pops went through our flat the other day, didn't they? They did. Uh, Mark Mondale and Pearson is in. Hi, Mark Dowles. Gabrielle Chasse is in. Thank you for the card, Dowles, for the boys. Alex Clark says, we are having a pie as we watch. Every time you say his name, it's like, oh, gee, it's like, hello, hello. Alice Clark. Was that in that? Was that in that? Alice Clark. That was the name of a German textbook, I think, at school. Was it, it in the lower law? Did, oh, you do, did you do German at school? Sorry? Did you do German at school? Is that where they got um? Yeah, can you count to th- or, ten in German? Or, or soir. Can you count to ten in German? Yeah. Try it. Unt. No. Unt. I, ein. Ein. Dry. 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 Swine. Via. Fumpf. Fumpf. Sex. Sexy. Seven. <coughs> it's making me cough. Seven. 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 Okay. Seven. Act. Act on, act on, act on. <laughs> Nuff. Nuff. And ten. Yeah? And ten. Well done. Can you do it in French? Oh, You'll be able to do it in French. You must remember that one. I did this in Wednesday Club. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, nice, nice, no. Don't. Did did you miss out sex? I missed a lot of it out. Uh, 
so Alex Plark is having a pie. Gabrielle Chasse is in. Yeah. I think that's everyone. Uh, Alice Clark is from League of Gentlemen, her lip. Oh, yeah. I know it's that. League of somewhere. Gentlemen. It's in the League of Gentlemen. Alex Clark, Alex Clark. Silla, Silla Black says, learn German with the pies. We could do a whole... We, so we, could, could, we could help you do that. I know what you could do. We're thinking of doing Vlogmas, aren't we? Yeah. Would you like Vlogmas with the pies? It's where we do a video every every day over Christmas and all we do is open an advent calendar. <laughs> I don't know about that, doll. Uh, Can't we go around and eat like bits of mince pie and pudding? Well, while we are here and... Mind you, Christmas pudding makes you go... <laughs> While we're here, does anyone have any questions for the pies? Your exclusive audience with the pies. It's like when Shirley Bassey did that programme. You know where Lisa Goddard went to watch? An audience with Shirley Bassey? Yeah. Yeah. Or was Lisa Goddard watching Victoria Woods? No, she wasn't watching Shirley Bassey. That was Barbara Knox. Oh, OK. She said, have you paid your paper bill? It's like that at the moment. So if anyone wants to ask a question... And you can say that you're a celebrity if you want. Yeah. An 80s celebrity. Yeah. Darren Bramley says, we did advent calendars on this morning today. There's loads out there. He's not, Do you know what? He could, he's probably not wrong there. He could put some in his bag and send it to us. He could even just send it from the ITV building, save on postage. There's one in the pet shop for dogs. Timmy Alexis Carrington Ward would like to know who ate all the pies. She said it. She said it. <laughs> right, we've got some questions. So, Nibbles and Bubbles would like to know where did we two meet? A prison, wasn't it? <laughs> prison. Now, it's, we've also visited people in prison, weren't we? Yeah. And we met in the waiting room. I was visiting Pam's sister in prison. Yeah. So that's uh, Pippa Pie. And I was visiting my brother, and for a joke, I made him a cake with a file in it. <coughs> It Didn't was, they? Yeah, but it was just like a ring-bound file, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it? It, was, it was... But you saw me being mainly searched, didn't you? <laughs> I saw you being searched. And then our eyes met, didn't we? <laughs> well, you, I met your brown eye first. Oh, you did, didn't you? <laughs> and then what our that eyes met. That one there. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, then the relationship sparked from there. Yeah. Sadly, sadly, Pippa Pie's still inside, isn't she? Yeah. Keeps going. Keeps, keeps being bad. Uh... Lily Law would like to know where does Pam buy her fab tops? Interesting. Tops. Pam, is it you are a top, aren't you? Yeah. So it's from where's it from? Um, I can't remember. I think is it the the one that's for t- little blind children? Yeah, the one that's for little blind children. You know the one where the old woman works there and she keeps salt and pepper in her pockets. Yeah, that's the shop. That one. It's from the 99p rail. We had a question here from Darren Brambley, and he <coughs> he would like to know what's on my Mr. Pie shirt today. Oh, it's your favourite program, isn't it? It is. It's uh, it's Star Wars. That's Star Wars. And this is uh, this one's Luke, and that's Princess Leia, and that yeah. that there's some robots. You made me try and watch one, didn't you? I didn't get it. Yeah. What one did we watch? I don't know. There was one that came out in the bin bag. And kept going, and that made me cry, didn't it? Yeah, but it made you think. Uh, you, that's when you sorted your haircut, wasn't it? Yeah, it did inspire you like, me. Yeah, yeah, right. We've got... And I like that woman who had two donuts on her head. You did, uh, but it didn't inspire you to do that, did it? With your uh... not with this lovely lot. I'm not putting sugar in this air. Uh, Gabrielle Chasse would like to know: Are there any little pies? No, we... doctor said I can't. Doctor said I, c- I shouldn't. Doctor said we mustn't. <laughs> um, Under no circumstances. Emotional Urban Homestead would like to know what's your favourite pie? Oh, um, bloody hell. Mine's most probably my Uncle Bobby. Bobby Pie. Bobby Pie. He's funny, isn't he? Yeah. He does karaoke at the Nelson on Saturdays. He I runs it. Do you know what I like sometimes? I'm in the, if I'm in the right mood. I like to sit down in front of a nice cream pie. Uh, a gamer called Daz would like to know what's your favourite food. Um, uh, Takeaway, knickknack, chippy, uh, 
Oh, we like Chippy too, don't we? Uh, <laughs> Gabrielle, Gabrielle Dudano is in. Um, and Gabby would like to know, Pam, is your bob inverted? It is, darling. It is. She's noticed. It takes ages, you know, to uh, make it like that, like that. Uh, you, you like my hair from the first minute, didn't you see I'm ever so pretty? <laughs> Mark Hall, this is a good question. Before they injected me. This is a good question for you. What was your maiden name before you were a pie? Hmm? What was your maiden name before you were Pam Pie? Pipes. <laughs> I forgot who were Pam Pipes. Yeah. <laughs> um... Martin Garten Spencer's watching with his hubby, and his hubby says that McDonald's Christmas toffee apple pie isn't worth burning your tongue to lick oh, it out. Oh, you don't, you don't touch them hot pies. Do you, when you, do you remember when you touched one? Oh yeah, it was horrible. I got my tongue got my tongue swelled right up. Didn't you were lick, it? licking it out, weren't you? I, could, I, could, I couldn't speak, could I? He was licking it out in the street, <laughs> and before I knew it, it just swollen to a big. It was like a big purple head in your mouth, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. I almost gagged on it, didn't I? You were gagging on it, darling. We had to, we had to rush him to the door, <coughs> to the hospital, didn't we? We did. Let me have a look, because there's lots of questions coming in. Uh, right. What's your favourite? We answered that one. Did Pam get her wig from the... It's not a wig. Who's saying I wear bloody wigs? It's S- SDM. This is my own natural hair, this, darling. Uh, Emotional Urban Homestead would like to know, does Pam get her dresses from Miss Mary of Sweden? I get my makeup from Miss Mary of Sweden. Uh, another question here, are there any little pies? But we've answered that. I there don't aren't. want to talk about it. Uh, oh, lots of questions going past quickly. Can Pam recommend a good dentist as mine of 20 years closed down and her teeth are eye-catching? Your dentist's teeth are eye-catching. Uh, or Pam's are. We didn't go to the dentist. I've never been, we? no. I mean, I don't know what happens, but sometimes, every so often, I'll find myself in the middle of the night, outside, gnawing at the tree in the garden. Don't know, right? <laughs> you do, yeah. We do. Usually the wet weather, and you drag me in, don't you? You do. Then, and then, have you ever seen, like, mm, I think it was called Breaking Bad, or one of them programmes. Oh, we, oh, we, if we ever need to do, like, medical stuff, we just go to a vet's late night, don't we? Oh, they were so cheap. Yeah, we, and we he do loves it there. he loves the liver sausage they give him, don't they? Yeah, we? mind you, it makes you go. Um, right. Some uh, the question come in, and it said, uh, "Where is it? Oh, I've missed it." What's your favourite pie swilling filling? Swilling, filling, sweet or savoury? Oh. That's from Alex Johnson, who says, I eat a homemade vegan spinach and ricotta pie. I even make the ricotta. Oh, that, I don't know where it Sounds exotic is. to me. I like spinach. So does Popeye. Um, so what I don't like in a pie is rhubarb. Do you not? No. You know you're not meant to eat it raw. Oh, really? No. Oh. Sorry. I mean, these can handle it. <laughs> but, my, but, oh, my... Tracy30 would like to know, does Pam have any goodies in her bag today? We do. We've got... It's, uh, he's bought me some anniversary presents. Because it's his anniversary, wasn't it? It's on, our anniversary. On the 5th. On November the 5th. Yeah. That's when we first got married. Yeah. My mum said to me, we, we, weren't, we weren't very well, were we? When we got married? No, we never are in Van are we? No. And she said, listen, you two, stop lolling about. Go and get married. So we did, didn't we? We did. We got home and she said, no, I told you to get margarine. Yeah. Didn't hear it properly, did we? No. But we, we, we didn't get margarine in the end, did we? No. We, we, we got, got married. We got that one from Aldi. What's it called? Is it? I can't believe it's butter, but it isn't. Yeah, we got some of that. So it was a good day all round. Yeah. Uh, Philippe Jack says, triggered, my mum recently went for an eye operation and came out of the office in sunglasses. Oh. She was a spit of Maggie Bog. Who's Maggie Bog? Don't know. Uh, someone called Jason of, of RC has just arrived. Mm. Jason de RC. Yeah. So he's just, so hello to you. Um, 
There's that bangers going off outside. Oh, they've, they've got up all week, don't they? The, ben, been... the Burns have been setting off bangers, haven't they? Do you know, I took, there's one thing about bonfire that really annoys me. What? Well, when they start letting all the fireworks off, what and, are you... it, and it's that bad, the dog knocks a Christmas tree off her. What are your top three things about fireworks day, about bonfire night? Don't touch them, don't light them, and don't eat them. And what are your top top three treats on bonfire day? Uh, cinder toffee, uh, hot tea. Hot tea's got to be in the fire though, in foil. Oh yeah, remember? like a jacket tea. Yeah, yeah, and uh, toffee apple. You like a toffee apple, I love don't a toffee you? apple. You like the toffee, but you don't eat the apple, do you? No, I'll peel it off and give you it, don't yeah. I? Yeah. So, that's that's interesting for you all. Right, so, it was our wedding anniversary. Yeah, it was. And I got you some... Let me just check, I'm not missing some... Uh, Mr. Perinder here says, don't get your temperature checked at the vets. That's the bit we like best, isn't it? Yeah. That's the first thing he does, isn't it? He sticks that thermometer in your mouth. Yeah. Oh, does he stick it in your mouth? Sorry? He sticks it in your mouth. He sticks it in yours. Oh. Uh, Pam Pie and Mr Pie, are you related to Jamie and Alan at all? The similarities are striking. The people no. have said that, haven't they? We're not. Uh, let's drop some, drop some glasses again. Let's have a look. I think... Question... What is oh question from Vampire and Mr. Pie? This is from Sarah Simpson. Do we say hello to Sarah? Hi, Sarah Simpson, Simpson Tiles. She says, "What is your favourite films?" Is oh. that a question for both of us, for us individuals? What's my favourite film? I like that. Well, one. you like that on your T-shirt, don't you? I like Star Wars. Yeah, the, oh. and I liked. Um, uh, I liked that one. Was it? Debbie in Dallas or something. Yeah, Debbie does Dallas. I like that one, didn't you, I? I kind of watch it with you. No, you said, no, it's you like space. Like it. It's spacey. And then there's that other one, didn't they? Um, uh, for Fun at the Monastery. Yeah. No, the nunnery. Yeah, you didn't want... And I said, can I watch no, it? Said, no, it's full spacey. of space things. There's a lot of space ones. You, you did watch that one that I liked about, you know, the um, the plumber and the oxo mum. Yeah, only because I walked in and saw you watching it. Yeah, that was a good one, wasn't it? Yeah. She's uh, been grabby ever since, then. She's she? She hasn't she? Richard Bobbins stuff and wonders if you like that one. American Pie. No. I, I don't like American. Martin Gott and Spence wonders if you like that one. The Life of Pi, no. No. Uh, what's your favourite? Favourite film? EastEnders. Oh, I know what one what? of them is, is when... You like the EastEnders omnibus, don't you? Yeah. Well, that's a good film. It's a two-hour film, that, isn't it? Every week they do that. Yeah. And I like that thing called Banged Up Abroad. <laughs> Pam likes well, that. Well, it makes it reminds me when I met you. You like that film, don't you? About uh, that monkey what lives with a family in Thailand. Baby the monkey. Yeah. Oh, Baby the monkey. He woke his daddy up this morning for some breakfast. <laughs> That's all that happens in the movie, but Pamela loves it. And then the other day, Baby the monkey was, was hiding because there was a thunderstorm. That was all that happened, but Pamela loves it. And then the other day, David the monkey was trying to help Daddy cook breakfast. And what happened? He was just hungry. Go. That was all that happened, but Pamela loves it. Right. So, so do you want your presents? Oh, yeah. Have you come down there? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> now, these are your anniversary presents. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> I spent a lot of time on these. Show people the bag, because the bag's nice. Pam's bag. Can they see it? Can, can you see Pam's bag? Can you see my, my teal polka dot bag? <laughs> it's made of cardboard, but that doesn't mean it was cheap. Is it snow on it? It's just dots. They're called um, polka dots. Is it Christmas snow? They're called polka dots, like poker the card game. Right. And that bikini? Yeah. She was a little beanie, teeny weeny. Wearing a little yellow bikini. Oh, we like Wacker Day, didn't oh we? Oh, my God, there's so much in here. Right. You've really spoiled me, haven't you? Uh, you've, we've got Dame Thora Heard in now. What? Person? Dame Thora Heard's just joined over here. Oh, I'd like to like her on that religious programme. 
What's it called? Holy karaoke. Yeah. Are you are you opening your presents? Right. Let's have a look. I don't know what it is. Can you see it? It's a ra- is it a raffle ticket? <laughs> it's a raffle ticket. What number is it? It's number sixty nine. What's that for, darling? Explain <laughs> <Blend> yourself. <laughs> It's if you if you if that gets drawn, you're gonna get a prize. What's the prize gonna be? You're gonna have to wait, wait and see. Right. It's good, isn't it? So that's like a lottery ticket, really. Ah, oh, right. Do you want to keep that safe? I'll keep that very safe. Oh, I hope I win. So that's gift number one. Oh, I've heard you mention you wanted one of these to your mates in the pub. Why have you bought me one? You better get it. So what's a little little cock ring look? Can you see it? Can you see a little cock ring? <laughs> Should I put it on my finger? I could do it on do. Should I put it on my finger? Yeah. There we go. So did you manage to buy yourself one? Yeah, so that <laughs> oh, Can you see it? Can you see I don't think they can Hold see your it. Face. Little, little cock Hide ring. your face your face has got to be out of shot. And I'm hiding it. Can I see the little cock ring? Oh, so wear... that's a cock ring. I wear that on Wednesday from my Wednesday club. <laughs> isn't it lovely? It's nice, isn't it? Oh, yes. But it's unique, isn't it? Are you going to show me yours when you get one? Yeah. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll show you mine when I've got it on. Oh, you haven't. <laughs> I don't know if I have. Oh, I've been wanting this for ages. Oh, I've not. It's from the guest bedroom. <laughs> what is it? It's a pearl necklace and a pair of tits. Oh, look at that! Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Can, you... Can you see the little <laughs> tits and the pearl necklace on them? Oh, they look very happy, don't they? Where do you think birds get jewellery from? <laughs> Elizabeth Duke. <laughs> oh look at their little purses <laughs> you've, you've wanted that for ages oh, I it? have and they're great tits as well you're going to give me that for my birthday but you never got round to it did you <laughs> no I got it oh. do you know I've been really spoiled with a cock ring and my pearl necklace on me with a pair of tits oh you're feeling up lovely. aren't you I know I feel ever so spoiled <laughs> Do you want to hold that there? Yeah. I'll put that on the wall there. I love looking at that. Oh, no, not another special <laughs> present. Oh, my favourite perfume. Oh, it's got me my favourite perfume. Oh. Can you see it? Can you see my favourite perfume? Grosse Vache. Yeah, I don't know what it means. It's, a, it's You like that, though, don't you? Sorry? You like it, though, don't you? Yeah. It's your favourite, isn't it? Mr. Bramley or Becca Bramley. Do you know what that means? Well, I don't know if it... I think it's French. Do you want to have a little spray? Last time I sprayed it in my, in my glasses, didn't I? Yeah. I can't see it. I don't think I can see it. Can you see it? Oh, no, it's spraying the wrong way. I can't find the little Here hole. Let me Where's sp- the little hole? <laughs> Let me spray it on you. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> oh, oh it's it smells a bit funny doesn't it it didn't smell like that in chemist <laughs> did it i'm tasting it here oh yeah it might it might it might be all right when it dries up a bit oh oh thank you darling i can't believe oh uh, no gro- gross set is not big hmm People are trying to translate it. Grosser is not big. Right, what's next? Is there anything else? Oh, one more present. I can't remember if I got you anything. I, I think I've saved the best to last. Well, you know I like my little TVs. Yeah. Do you remember my little TV and the little crying boy? Oh, can you see it? <laughs> they can't see it. <laughs> it's... Give a shot at me. <laughs> Put it up in the... Can you see it? <laughs> it's better an actress and a wing getting an MBE. <laughs> oh, oh, so special. Who is it? 
<laughs> I've had a ring. I'll get you off her. Off her, you stupid bastard. You know that, don't you? Oh, you love your celebrity TV ornaments, don't you? Especially when they're getting get a medal. <laughs> She's getting a medal from the Queen. I didn't know she got a medal from the Queen. Yeah. Oh. oh, she's over the bridge now. Are you going to put they, that on the Christmas tree with yeah, the other one? Yeah, they looked at it. They've seen it. Oh. Have you seen it? Look, Pam, you you could do that. Hold your cock ring up like that. You look alike. Oh, I've got my, co- my cock's upside down. You look alike. No, I wanted you to look like Anna Wing. Oh, right. Okay. See if you can do the same face. <laughs> <laughs> Move closer to me. There we go. Oh, forget to stop, Arthur. Oh, forget to stop getting bag of apples, Arthur. I loved her in that programme. Oh. She lived to about 100, didn't she? <coughs> she did. Now, I know you're telling me not to get something. Oh. But I've got you something very, very special. I went to the market and you I You got saw... me a present? Yeah. Oh. I went to the market and I saw Dodgy Peter. Yeah. And I said, I've got no idea what to get Mr. Piper's anniversary. What do you get somebody that's got everything? And he says, I can get you something that money can't buy. Oh, is this from Dodgy P? Yeah. So this is something that money can't buy. Mind you, I paid £800 for it. £800? £100. Oh, right. Okay. So there's Mr. Pie on it. It's for right. you. What's wrong with your hair and your face? Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm filling up. All right. <laughs> Someone in a lifetime. Right, well, there's a picture attached to this that I'm going to show you first of all. Do, can I show them that first yeah. of all? I've seen it already. <laughs> can you guess who it is? I bet they don't know who that is, do they? It's don't tell them. <laughs> Wait for me to say it. Can you see who that is? Tell us who you can see it. Who is it? Tell us who you can see. Right, so there's this picture. Right, so they, they're on delay. So they watch this yeah. after we've said it. I know. So Seven Network says it's David Easter from Brooklyn. It is, it's David Easter. It's David Heaster from Brooklyn. David Heaster. And he's with Pamela Pye. Right, let me have a read of this. There's a whole letter here. Do you want me to read it all out? And who's it from? <laughs> it's from David Heaster. David Heaster? <laughs> do you want me to read it? Yeah, you've got, to read, you want to, read you've got to read it. Dear Mr Pye. <laughs> it's from David Heaster, remember? <laughs> Is this actually from David Heaster? You've got to read it out loud, darling. It says... <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> Out loud, so they can hear it. Hiya. My name is David Heaster and I am <laughs> and I am an famous actor off the telly. Yeah. I was born on eleventh of November nineteen fifty nine in Heastley, Hampshire. Heastley, Hampshire. <laughs> my birth <laughs> My birth my, <laughs> my birthday is in three days' time. I will be sixty four. He will be. <laughs> That proves he's written it. Now he says, you may remember me from TV programmes like Brookside when I played Pat Handcock, who who worked in a hospital and had a degree in food science. <laughs> and, and I had big hair. I was in a terror... <laughs> I was in a terror siege, S E E J, in a Brookside house, and then I left to sing songs in Doobie. I think it's Dubai. In Dubai. It proves it's personal, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. He then says, I was also in another soap opera that was called <laughs> Family Fairs. In that, I was called Pat again, but <laughs> I had a different last name. Pat Callahan. <laughs> then David Easter says, no, sorry. <laughs> I was called Pete. <laughs> It's called Pete, not Pat. I was called Pete, but it sounds nearly the same as Pat. Doesn't it? I was a baddie in this and got shot by a gun and a bullet. Oh. I was also in another soap called Emmerdale Farm. In that, I was called 
<laughs> Jill Dean. Gil Dean. Gil Dean. But I was only in it for a month. I don't like farms. He didn't like it being in that. Then he says, I was also in another soap in Liverpool called Hollyhocks. Oh, Hollyhocks. In that, I was called Mac Nightingale. Mac Nightingale. <laughs> but someone killed me in that with some poison. Yeah. And then they hit me on the head. I dies on some steps. Yeah. Whilst I was in Brookside, in real life, I was married to that Denise Squelch off of Loose Women. I was divorced from her three years later. She wasn't as nice as Pam. I bet Pam is the perfect wife. I wish I was married to Pam. She is very pretty. You are lucky to be married to such a lovely lady like Pam. I would marry Pam in a flash. Happy anniversary, David Heaster. And then he writes a P.S., her name would be Pam Heaster. Pam Heaster? <laughs> oh, no, let me letter from David Heaster. Oh, I didn't realise I'd be getting a letter from David Heaster yeah. for my anniversary. You like him, don't you? I do. <coughs> right. Uh, Timmy Alexis Carrington Ward like, wants to say he was also the Pharaoh up Joseph with Jason Donovan. Oh, does that mean he can sing songs? Yeah. Oh. Right, is that it from us? I think you got out there and you've chased pups. Yeah, should we get going? Yeah, I've booked a, ho- a-, a hoover. Are we off up to Nibbles and Bubbles? Yeah. All right. So we're getting a hoover to Nibbles and Bubbles' house. Uh, we've enjoyed hanging out with you. Yeah. Uh, thanks a lot. I think the boys are getting up now. Uh, They're not being very well. Do you want a pearl necklace on your tits? Sorry? Do you want this pearl necklace on these tits? Oh, look Remember to take that. Yeah, look at that. All right. That's going on my guest bedroom wall. Goodbye, everyone. See you soon. Bye. Hope you loved it. Bye-bye. Wow. Wow. Talk about sheer terror. Well, what did you think so far? Listen, this side is about to come to an end, but I want you to be sure and flip over to the other side where the best of Hollywood beckons. Um, I'm going to freshen up a little bit, so I'll see you on the other side. Honey, why don't we get some more wine, uh, more hors d'oeuvres, more everything. Okay. Okay. There you are, getting by quite nicely when you have the good fortune to receive a windfall. The question is, do you spend it or save it? To solve this pleasant dilemma, there's Lloyd's Extra Interest account. With your money safely tucked away, you'll receive a regular little windfall of interest once a month to spend on yourself or, alternatively, the lady wife. The Extra Interest account from Lloyd's. My Conchita has left me. I can't stand it. Um, you need a big bar bandage. You can't stand it with bandage. Get your chin off the floor. The great big bar bandage is as big as a door. Six Christians of bandage. When you're empty inside, if you stand it with bandage, then you'll be all right. My Conchita has come back. I can't stand it. You can't stand it with bandage. I'm Bernard Matthews, and this little booty is the Matthews Turkey Roast. Give the family a treat this weekend with my turkey roast. Beautiful. Everything you need every day. Come to Woolworth, and only Woolworth prices to pay. What value? Only 47p. What a wonder. Only 15p. What a price. Only 39p. What a bargain. Only £2.49. What a relief. Only five ninety nine. We've got everything you need and so much more. Come to Woolworth. Everybody's everyday store. Number one, the new pop magazine. Number one. It's number one. Number one. Song words. Gossip. Charts. Read the story of the jam. Every week! Every week! 
here either. I'm fed up with this blinking washing up. You've always got your hands in the sink, Dolly. Relax and have a cup of PG. Marcel always calls me his little dishwasher. What do you call him, then? Bone Idol. <laughs> There's no other tea to beat PG. It's the taste. Hi, I'm back. And so are you. You know, I feel as though I know you. <laughs> well, at least we share some of the same tastes. Oh, I'm sorry about the cheese puffs. I ran out. But I still have quiche. Hello, Hello baby darlings. Welcome to the Wig and Slingback. Um, oh. Sorry about the delay. What's these names on here, darling? Oh, I don't know. Um, but we're very happy to be with you. We are. We're, st- we're a little bit better than last week, aren't we? We are. We've had. Our, our, I spent nearly all week in pajamas. He did, which is unlike me. And they've, all, they've both been very different colds, haven't they? Yeah. Yours has been sort of head, and yours is all chesty. Chesty. Um, but yeah, I was back at work yesterday, so I had to sort of force myself out my pajamas. But it actually, made me feel a bit better. Oh, four hours solid. He was at it. And then uh, I'm off to that there London, aren't I? Yeah, but on a jolly. I'm off to that there London tomorrow to go and see Mandy Patinkin in concert. And I'm sitting right on the very front row. Ah. Um, so I'm dead excited about that. Because you're meant to be going away with a, on a job, weren't you? you yeah, I was meant to be working down in London I'll right pop now. that on the beginning of the work trip. And then your work trip was cancelled, wasn't it? Um, but you're away again next week with work, aren't you? On another one. Yeah, so I come home for a day and then I go away again, don't I? And then I come home for a day and then I go away again for yeah. a week. So this and is then it'll be December, will it? <laughs> pretty much. So a jolly before I go. Um, right, we've got uh, welcome boys from Angela Larson. Jason Darcy is here. Paul McFarlane is emotional urban homestead. So let's hope you're feeling better. Um, Cy Slimbo is here. Oh, we were talking about him, weren't we? We were talking about Cy Slimbo recently because we had a little wig and slingback meet up. People were saying you'd be missed, my darling. Be much missed. Um, now, we have a happy birthday <coughs> for... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yes, yesterday it was the birthday of none other but... Dame Sue of Pollard. She should be a dame. Is she not a dame yet? She's not. So it's Dame Sue of Pollard's birthday yesterday, and we want to wish her a very happy birthday. And as a very special treat. As a very special treat. We were given early access. Exclusive access. To um, Here She Is. is To Here She Is. Forthcoming show. (laughs) Yeah, so we watched um, Here She Is has got a new episode of Here She Is coming out on that there Saturday um, of him... Uh, with Sue Pollard, Sue Pollard on his bed, being interviewed, and it's a lovely episode, isn't it? She does not disappoint. She doesn't disappoint. So you're all going to have to tune in to Here She Is' his YouTube channel. It's going to launch and premiere just as those credits roll on Strictly Come Dancing. So just as Strictly finishes, get your button over to YouTube, type in Here She Is, and watch Sue Pollard's Here She Is. Or even better, go and subscribe to his channel now and you'll get notified. And that means um, you can also watch all his backlog of videos with yeah. other greats like Rusty Lee, um, Biggins, Mini, Mini LeBall, Biggins, <laughs> Linda Nolan, uh, Dr. Range, <laughs> all the greats. Uh, Cheryl Baker. No, it is. Uh, get, get over to his channel and watch it. Neil Sandro says, I was talking to Sue's ex-husband today. Oh, I bet she was. Uh, here she is. Uh, they chat about Sue's husband and marriage, didn't they? Mm. Um, it's a really good interview. It's lovely. It's funny. Sue completely gets it. So she gets yeah, it. Yeah, she, she really plays along with him, doesn't she? she? Like, and she cheats. She beats him to the punchline a couple of times, doesn't she? <laughs> well, she's, she would, she's wouldn't on she? It. She's, she's comedy queen. She, you know, she uses a bit of Polari and stuff. So 
it was lovely and we uh yeah we enjoyed watching that over our luncheon today um uh, Paul McFarlane says, I'm a subscriber. Here she is in an amazing channel. And Pete Potofsky would like to know, how is Sue's ex-husband? Um, Neil? Pete's, Pete says, I have his book. Um, I think Neil's over in this room as oh, well as he? in that room. He's, he's in both. He likes fingers in many pies, does Mr. Sandwell. Gareth from Porto says, Cheryl Baker is everywhere. She is. What did I watch on the other day? Do you know who is everywhere at the moment? Oh. Scylla in Black. She has? Well, she popped up somewhere? She's popping up all over on, on every sort of meme. She's, um... I don't know if, like, the Americans know who she is, but she's on all these, like, memes they now. They do. They, they've got... Doing surprise, surprise. I think they're like... The Americans like Heidi High, don't they? And all the comedies like that. I don't know if the Americans that are doing these memes know who Sue is. It's just funny that this woman's going, surprise, surprise. Oh, sorry. We're talking about Scylla, aren't we? Yeah. Scylla. I'm on about Sue Pollard. No, isn't it? Uh, Darren Bramley says he's had some lovely chats in Polari with Sue. Um, and Neil Sandwell says, Sue's husband is poorly but doing okay. A truly lovely chap. He was wishing my mum happy birthday. Oh, bless him. And Scylla does say, I am everywhere. Um, Pete Potofsky says it's 1984 again with Cheryl Baker being everywhere. And what did we see Cheryl Baker on though? Oh, uh, what was it? She's on all them little things I keep sharing where she's singing with Johnny Ball. or Oh, um, yeah. There was a, I've been watching the old This Is Your Lives and um, she's popped up. But I've not watched hers yet. But who's, has she popped up on anyone else's, like as a no. guest? Who's, Linda, who's the person who's the most guest? Linda Barron. She's on everyone's. I've, I watched about ten and she was in five of them. Because <laughs> obviously she's worked. Just as like she's a worked, little... Which is, they were done, she's done like Run For Your Wife and that sort of thing. We saw her in her fast, didn't we? Oh, she was funny in that. Yeah. With Neil Stook. With Neil Stook. <laughs> in the chocolate menu factory. In the menu chocolate factory where Alan was I paid for two seats. Why is there another three people sat with me? I think we got free tickets to that. I don't think Linda was selling well. No, it was a Sunday afternoon, I remember. I think we got freebies. Um, loved uh, Chris Perinda. I loved Cheryl on Eggs and Baker. Well, Chris Perinda, I'm sure you get a little comment popping up very soon, because Mr. Bramley, I think, was camera one on Eggs and Baker. Oh, was it on the program then? Yeah. Did you not remember? No, I didn't do. I didn't do kids' evening TV. She did a cooking show. I think it might have been morning. TV. Like sticky fingers with um with Helen Lederer. Yeah. <laughs> She must have needed the money to do that. BG Bear says, Cheryl and the Fizzers came into the motorway services for a cuppa when he was working there in 1985. Oh. I'd like to know, did they have anything else or just a cuppa? I, I bet, bet Cheryl wanted a full English. I bet she had, little, I bet she had some eggs and bacon. I bet, she, <laughs> I bet she wanted like, you know when Little Chef did that massive breakfast? I bet she wanted that. I bet if you went around town and you went to a Little Chef restaurant in town, you'd be like, what a fucking lot of shit. But when you're, like, travelling and you turn up to a little chef, you'd eat anything, wouldn't you? <laughs> you wouldn't you? I loved a little chef. I loved the little... Do you remember the, the ones that were... Did you go to a lot of motorway service yeah. station? Do you remember the ones that were on the actual bridge? Mm. They were ace, weren't they? And you looked out over the traffic. Yeah. And the food was a little bit ropey. But cantini. A bit of cantini, I like, yeah. like... I don't mind cantini food. But it's, do a you little, like, it's a little bit iffy, but... Do you like a food hall? I do. I, I used to go to... Um, I used to go to do a big shop um, on my own in um, Canary Wharf, didn't I? Asda. Asda, yeah. And I used to treat myself to a little breakfast. <laughs> and that was a little bit, like, a bit of that, a bit, a bit like school dinners. With a little tray going yeah. along. Like, um, the, I think you'll find the spam <coughs> on that. <coughs> but do you like, you don't like a tre them trendy, like, food halls now, do you? Where you sit and do a QR code and they bring it to your table. No. And it's like a bow bun for a Oh, no. I want the whole tenor. experience. I want the whole, like, dinner ladies experience from the programme dinner ladies, where you get a tray and you say, no, I don't want that one, I want that one. Give me the bit of that one and, and, and 12 rounds of white. Steve Palmer says, Cheryl Baker's like thrush, always on the telly, when the last thing you want is thrush on your box. Oh, poor Shezza Bakes. Uh, Perinda, Chris Perinda, what lollies? Chris Perinda says the lollies were the best at the Little Chef. I don't remember lollies. Now, I think he's talking about them lollies. That, that are on the till? <laughs> yeah, that are on a stick and they're like a rectangle of um, quite chewy pink candy. Drumsticks? I think you're thinking about a drumstick. 
There was definitely a, a, a resi in Liverpool where you'd get drumsticks on the way out. The only, the, only, the only lolly in the I read was Chupa Chups. Oh, you don't want to be envious of a Chupa Chup. They were horrible. Do you remember where you could get like a massive Chupa Chup and it was full of little Chupa Chups? I, I remember, know. I remember actually somebody, lovely, lovely person who might be watching, Ooh. one of our friends, gave us some Chupa Chups for Christmas. Do you remember? Who? I don't know. A very ago. dear friend. It was a big thing of chupa chups, and about half of them were like I chocolate think, milkshake. Was flavor. it Emma? What was it? Emma Watterson? It might be. Some of them Emma. were really lovely, but some were a little bit. Oh. Uh, Gemma um, Alexander says the Little Chef pancakes were a real treat and a favourite that I still reminisce about. Do you know? I bet that was just like a, a, a bag of stuff that they mixed with water. Do you? I'm sorry to spring this up. Is Little Chef no more? I thought the Little Chef was. I thought Heston saved the Little Chef. No. By putting the, I don't know smell, what they of are the now. smell of the sea in a spray bottle and spraying it in people's fizz hogs. What was... Um, Didn't what? Heston save the little chef? No. Um, he, he messed too much with it. <laughs> um, oh, so BG Bear says, It was late at night. The, the fizzers were on their way back from a gig, I think. The place was like a transport cafe before the new building was built. So I think they just had the tea. Um, well, if you're in that little tour bus... Day and night. Don't talk about the fizzers. I know what us. happened. I know what happened. But, the, you know, they're like, oh, can we get off and stretch our legs? <laughs> like, well, I will stop at a little chef, have a cup of tea, have some cherry pancakes. Um, well, what have we been up? We've not been up to anything because we've been dead ill, haven't we? We've been flat on our backs, haven't we? Yeah. Well, we did. The, we did. We saw. We saw have, we, have we done the show since the um, bingo? Yeah, we did Do last we Wednesday when yeah. you were ill and I wasn't yet. Well, mine started Wednesday morning, didn't it? Yeah. And then I got it. And then we've been flying about all week. We've had some lovely, lovely little things popped on our doorstep, haven't we? We have. The, the lovely Eat Me Boys popped, popped a little present on the door. We had like and a little. Nibs and Bobs. We had like loads of treats planned as well, didn't we? We went to go out for curry with our friends Sonia and Stuart and yeah. we had to cancel that. We were uh, meant to go, go to with Carol, Coral and Coral Paul. and Paul to eat me. We had to cancel we had to put that. that on there. We were meant to go to Eat Me Boys House for pizzas. We had to cancel yeah. that. We couldn't see our lovely friend Martin before he went into hospital. We had to cancel that. Well, we couldn't give him this, could we? No. Um, Chris Perinda's friend Heather used to work at Little Chef, and she used to give Chris free donuts. Oh, Heather! I oh, where Heather? <laughs> Was she like Heather Trot from EastEnders? Or oh, our Heather from Victoria Wood. <laughs> uh, what's Timmy what's Alexis, up, our Heather? Timmy Alexis is mentioning a Derby, do- <coughs> a, a Derby Donut. Well, that's, that sounds I have like a feeling that was a wimpy treat. A Derby Donut. I think Derby Donuts might be wimpy, Timmy. Along with a big bender with a panyan pickle. Now, with a donut, you can either bite into it and go, ooh, or, or it just blows your mind, doesn't it? <laughs> but, well, I like Krispy Kreme Donuts, don't I? And I went. I looked at a, getting a, a variety box of Krispy Kreme donuts, and they're like eighteen quid for a variety box. And for my birthday, Nibs and Bobs bought me um, a box of Krispy Kreme donuts that were delivered on my birthday. Oh yeah, and they were the the ring donuts. Oh, they were amazing, weren't they? Yeah, I'd, I've, I've I've got to find my, a proper Krispy Kreme like discount store. <laughs> um, Pete Potofsky says I wanted shredders. Oh, rather. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I miss Wimpy now you're mentioning Wimpy do you Wimpy you used, you used to get things on plates didn't you with yeah, knives China, and forks yeah China talking of that would Wimpy would be what do you think was really posh when you were exactly. a kid but you realise it isn't Wimpy Wimpy was for definitely for some reason posh, we, had, we had some Wimpy burger jigsaws and tins that must have been like a little free gift you got yeah they were we what was the picture of Oh, all sorts. Mr. Mr. Wimpy. It was a wimpy thing with a fellow with a big nose. He was, a, a hat. he was a beef eater. Yeah, it was a beef eater. There was somebody with a big nose and a hat. I think you might be thinking of McDonald's Hamburglar. No, they were definitely I think wimpy, wimpy was just the one character. They were definitely wimpy, I'm sure it were. Was there a female wimpy? What, Mrs. Wimpy? Yeah, I think in my head there might be. Chris Perinda saying Morrison's donuts are the best. Well, Chris Perinda, it's all right for some people who can drive a little car. We can't get to Morrison's. Mind you, the other day you brought two home, two Jaffa Jaffa orange donuts from Aldi. Yeah, but they weren't great, they weren't were too, they? Yeah, they weren't great, but they're all right. Uh, Darren Brown, uh, Wim, Wimpy's still about, says David T. Smith, and so is the bender in a bun, the big bender with the panyan pickle. 
David T. Smith also... David T. I like David T. Smith. I like the cut of his jib. He says, Brown Derby was a wimpy, a donut with a curl of whipped cream, brown sauce, and a scattering oh, of so nuts. Oh, so it was a pudding on a plate? Yeah. Um, and the brown sauce he's talking about is not HP brown sauce. No, I, know. I think it's a chocolate sauce. Yeah. Um... Uh, Wendy Burgers, Emotional Urban Homestead is mentioning. But Do we have Wendy food in America when we went? Uh, oh, no, that was, that was it Sarah Calendar. <laughs> <laughs> we did go, we went to Marie Calendar. Marie Calendar. Marie Calendar. You had the cheese soup. Welcome to Marie Calendar's. Uh, we might have gone to a Wendy's. She's a redhead. Um, there is a wimpy in Shrewsbury, says Claire B80. And over here, Timmy Alexis says... We still order an Uber Eats wimpy oh. in, in the Harrow on the Hill. Wow. And Darren Darren Bramley says there's a wimpy in Portslade near Brighton and he loves the chicken supreme. And it still tastes the same. As oh, all. and Chris, per- Chris Perinder's forever dangling carrots in front of us, this one. He's now saying there's a wimpy in Huddersfield. We don't really live in Huddersfield. <laughs> <Huddersfield. laughs> you might get to Huddersfield one day, mightn't you? I might do, but... It's a long way to go for a big bender with a panyan pickle. You must eat in some wonderful places, being in America. But I'm on my own, aren't I? Mm. So I don't really. But I do go to, I like going to, if I'm in America, I like going to a diner. Mm. Like a proper, proper diner Mm. where like there's a mom and pops sort of serving coffee out of a jug. SDM has mentioned the advert. Well, I like eggs and bacon. I like toast and jam. Do you remember it? <laughs> I don't remember it at oh, all. Oh, you don't remember it? The little, no. the little chef advert. I don't remember it at all. Wimpy in Loughton in Essex. Lots of wimpies. Scylla Black is saying there's a wimpy in Huddersfield. Which well, makes, I'm glad there's one. Which yeah. makes us wonder about Scylla Black, doesn't it? Hmm? <laughs> you got to try and find it where she... But she's a, she's a spirit. She is a from anywhere. From the, yeah, of course. Um, Gareth in Porter says he loves coffee from a jug, free refills. I do. And it has to be served with a little bit of attitude and, and, a, and a heavy pot mug. Um, where else do I eat when I'm in the States? I get a lot of takeaways, to be honest. Mind you, you're very, you're very intent. It's totally very sensitive, isn't it? I'm going to Poland next week. I'm in Murder on Gdansk floor. Oh, how's that with food? It's where there's this amazing vegan restaurant. Mm. Do you remember? I went there last time. and You said it with such excitement. Yeah. And I got vegan lard. So for a starter, you can get vegan lard. Oh, you um, made this, didn't you? And with, I make it now. You see it with prunes? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Prunes and butter beans, isn't it? Yeah. Not, is it prunes? Or you, is made it it? No. Oh. you made it. Dates. You made it, didn't you? Prunes, you came I home think. and made and it. And onions. It's amazing. And it's a vegan lard. It's like a sort of lard spread. It's like pate, really. Well, I vaguely remember being given a piece of bread with, with uh, dripping on it. Which must be the same thing, isn't Tell it? Tell me what dripping is. It's like, the, it's like the, it's the drips off the roast dinner. When it's gone like crisp. No, he goes like lard. What's the stuff that they're always going on about? Where crackling, it's crackling. Uh, no, no, dripping is what all the juices that come off the, off the the animals. Roast and then it gets solidifies in a bowl, and then uh, my nanny used to put spread it on a piece of oh, bread. Oh, solidifies. Yeah, and then a bit of salt. <coughs> is it like jelly? Um, and I just I remember I can I can taste it now. Is it like jelly? No, there is some like beef the consistency. jelly. There will be a little bit of jelly in the bottom if she gives you that, but if she's just scraped from the top, there won't be any jelly. And I remember being really like... Pete Petoskey's mm, gagging. Mm. It was really sort of... Um, oh. It was a bit... Uh, it wasn't smooth. Alex Johnson. Oh, no, that's all right. They're all talking about my prunes. Oh, not your beef dripping. Oh, you and your beef dripping, Mr. Derek. Alex Johnson said, you must have been on the big for hours, I think, in bog. For hours after them prunes. Yeah. Is that what prunes do to you? Butter beans and prunes. Prunes are very good at opening you up. <laughs> uh, Ross Morgan would like everyone to know the person with the big nose and a hat is Wellington Wimpy from Popeye. Have a look. Oh, so, so might not maybe your jigsaw then. was Popeye characters. Perhaps they were Popeyes. Oh. Was, the question has not been answered yet. Was there a Mrs. Wimpy? Was there a female Wimpy? Um, Chris Brinda, my granddad would spread dripping on bread. Darren Bramley dripping on bread. Blech. Not as worse as 
when an old lady... Claire Beatty um, loves dripping. When an old lady down the street goes, will you go shopping for me? And you've got to go and buy... You've got to go to the butchers and sh- to buy a, a, a pot of dripping. <laughs> and um, that thing from cow stomachs. What do they call it? Tripe. Oh, no, that's like like white with wrinkles in it. Oh, no. Um, oh, uh, right, lots of... Um, Seven Network, love a bit of beef dripping. Dale Ibbotson, dripping is otherwise known as mucky fat. Yeah. Carol Brooks, my aunt liked dripping on toast. She grew up during the war. Maybe it was a treat. They're bloody good for you. They, um, say. they say it's good for you. Nigel TC would like to officially announce that there are 62 wimpies. Oh, good. And I'm sure he's now working out the train route betwixt them all at the cheapest value so we can do a wimpy tour together. And the number of wimpies has been confirmed by our lovely, lovely boy, Nigel. From Dawlish, he said sixty-two stores. That's what I just said. <laughs> oh, I thought it was. Oh, I thought it was somebody over there said it. Silla uh, Black says dripping an old British dish. I'm dripping. Well, in those days, they didn't waste anything, did they? Nothing went to waste. Emotional Urban Homestead, I don't think was here last week when we asked this question. So she would like to announce that posh food Tunnock's tea cakes. Yes. Tunnock's tea cakes, something that you thought was posh when you were younger. Now you realise it isn't. They come in a perfect shaped box, <coughs> individually wrapped in foil. The little circly ones. Yeah. You never get a broken one because they pack them so well. I used to give, when I catered that venue, I used to give out Tunnock's tea cakes, didn't I? Mm. And that uh, lovely Stephen at Eat Me Cafe always sells tea cakes because obviously they're from his homeland. From the home, from the Isles. Um, any other posh things? So, what did come up last week? Orange juice with breakfast, I think, was my favourite thing that you thought was posh, but you realised it wasn't. Um, Philip Jack Fortenbrat. Wimpy was all, always financially embarrassed. Wimpy was always financially embarrassed and tried to blag a burger. I would gladly pay you tomorrow for a burger today with his catchphrase. Oh, you've lost me, Philip Jack Fortenbrat. I'm not sure w- what that says. Um, Darren Bramley we were in a French restaurant with a vegan friend she asked for a plate of veg they laced it with what looked like a slice of sausage I ate it and it was intestine what oh, I give a vegan oh. that I, when I was in um, Budapest I think it was Budapest I asked for like a, a vegan pasta dish and it came and I ate a little bit of it and I said I think this has got meat in it and I you'll find a spam on that <laughs> and I said I think that, I think there's meat in this and she said there is meat in it and I said but I'm vegetarian she said but we have cut it tiny for you <laughs> does she like wafer thin ham Barbara um, <laughs> let's have a look here we missed some my mum used to keep the dripping to cook the roast in every week draining it back into the bowl after dinner well they say goose fat is very very precious don't they um but not too good for the bird. I don't know what Jason Darcy is talking about. He's talking about something being 99p and B&M. Um, Might be a dripping. tonics tea cake. And then Pete Potofsky is calling P- B&M bum and moth. And the more bad news this week is that Caramac will be no longer available. Oh, no. Caramac will do a neighbours. Well, hasn't Dairy Milk be brought, back? Hasn't Cadbury's brought up a caramel flavoured? Yeah, Caramac's just doing a neighbours. They'll be back next year. Um, prawn cocktail in a glass posh but it's not um, Gabriel Chasse Wimpy here in the US was a confirmed bachelor uh, so I've realised what people are thinking about you remember Wimpy in Popeye that's not who Alan's thinking about Wimpy was like a bloke in Popeye Popeye's like mate who had a big sort of saggy bouncy nose yeah. That's not who your no, jigsaw is of. Uh, ignore me. I think my jigsaws were Popeye themed, not wimpy themed. I think his jigsaws might have been McDonald's themed. Because there was the Hamburglar. They came in tins. Big hat nose. And there was um, a sort of like blob that was like a milkshake. A bit like Bababa Popper. Do you remember Bababa Popper? Bababa Popper. I've got Bababa Mama here. Actually, Caroline Ibbotson would like to see this. I think Caroline Ibbotson has a Bababa Popper. Ba 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 mama. I think she's actually because she's got she's got a flat bottom. I think she's a skittle. I'm one of many. Although she's got oh, that, hasn't she? She's only on her own. People maybe got a glimpse of my new wigs then. 
Why do you bring them over? Or do you want to keep it secret? I can bring them over. Yeah, new wigs. To show you how ill I've been, because I've not worn these yet. Thanks to you. I mean, again, thanks to your one tip. The tips and donations. The, these, this is what it, this is what it creates. So this but one. But turn it around. Look at the work on that. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? So this, a little, a few little lice curls dangling at the sides. Should I hold that? Or you can, you can hold that one. She's lovely, blonde. Is that an ash blonde, that? Would you call that an ash blonde? I think so. A bit oh, look at this blonde. one. It smells lovely. This needs a bit of bounce back. That's lovely, isn't it? It's a bit sort of ITV Widows, <laughs> isn't it? So they will be making their appearance. And who are they made by? I can remember. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, David. Oh, I can't remember his surname. Uh, you'll get a shout out when I wear them. But they, um, uh, they were. It was a wig maker recommended by um, our pal Licorice Black, um, and he's called David. Hang on, let me have a look. Cause I'll tell you his name. Uh, right, wigs by. Hold your ponies, Pam. Hold your ponies, Pam. I mean, one of those wigs is, is for um, our show in February, isn't it? David Morel. Why would I forget? D Morel. D Morel. So they're made by D Morel. Um, Timmy Alexis says the first one's very Hello Dolly, the second one's a bit Marty Kane. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'll be wearing those. One of those will be worn in our February show. Um, SDM says it's very Elaine Page and Barbara Dixon. Um, I think we've got a little shout out for the Tonics Tea Cake by none other than Paul. The Tonics Factory and Shop is down the road from me. Oh, Paul. Tonics. He shouted it out in his uh, typical capitals. <coughs> um, and Emotional Urban Homestead says Barbara Popper is French for candy floss. Um, Bethan Williams is going night night. Darren Brown, we would like to know how Peggy is. She's on the floor down here. I don't know if you'll see her. Shall I try and... I'll try and find her. We'll do a little scan. There she is. Oh, she, oh she's looking at her. She might be licking her top and... Slipping, licking her top and so I don't want to see that. She's been such a lovely little nurse, hasn't she? Oh, yeah, she's really... Well, she's really clingy with um, Alan. She's not She's not been nursing me. <laughs> Every time I've gone to sort of go, go to bed, she's sort of like... Come right up, up against him. And she sort of lays with me. Yeah. Uh, uh, Emotional Over Home says, says Barber Popper's French for candy floss and Cy si Slimbo says in my house Barber Popper's French for Pearl and Dean <laughs> ba -ba 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 Um, let's have a look can we have a sillogram for me and Neil Sandwell says Seven Network you can't have a sillogram lots of people are going off to bed so we're going to do a little finale song and then we'll be back um, just to chit chat with whoever's hanging around for the last um, half hour or so. But ending the show tonight is not Scylla Black, um, but it's a special treat for you all. We will be back, not next week. We won't be back the week after that. Oh, it's one of them, is it? We'll be it? back the week after that. So we'll probably be back just before our next live quiz show. So our next live <coughs> quiz night is happening on Friday, December the 1st, here in Scarborough. Um, we have about eight tickets left, I think. So, oh. Yeah. Um, so if you want to come to our quiz night, it happens on a Friday night. Um, the doors to the venue open at six. Uh, the queens appear at seven. The quiz starts at 7.30 and it's all done by 9.30. Um, so you can get a train home if you live local or a bus home if you live local or you can go off to the Weatherspoons. And as it's the 1st of December, it's... Festive. Yeah, it's our Christmas quiz. So why not start the month, if you're in Scarborough, with a festive night with a with brandy and cherry? Yeah, it's a fiver, fiver ticket, um, and it'll be a dead good night. Lots of fun. <coughs> so the the next Wigan Slingback will be that week. So it'll be <coughs> 29th or 30th of November, whichever, um, whichever that is. And it's at the lovely House of S&M, says Jason Darcy. 
uh, and Jason's entertainment brain is now uh, twinkling away for the House of SNL. You love that, got, then you did. Yeah, 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 you've got some ideas for stuff that we can do there. So there's no Sillagram, but Silla, you'll be really pleased with what's coming up. Um, enjoy, and we'll see you on the other side of this. Say where's Orville, and he appears at the end. Yeah, the cheeky monkey. What's called? We didn't know that. Or oh, Keith Harris had two hands. Um, Simi Alexis says, "Oh my God!" It's very shocking. odd, isn't it, for him to be performing that? Yeah, I don't know what it's from. Um, I think it's from a New Year special going into the year 1983. Um, so there we go. Um, heels. Tracy Thirty says, "Who in goodness name is he?" So Tracy and Gabrielle and anyone else over in the States, he's called Keith Harris. He's a children's TV presenter and he normally appeared <coughs> with a little green duck called Orville, uh, called Orville on his hand. Um, and he had his number one single, I think, called I Wish I Could Fly that he sings with Orville. He's a ventriloquist. Um, but that's the first time you've seen him without those two puppets that came down. And I have a feeling that like Rod Hull, they always want to sort of try and say, can I just do something without the puppet? <laughs> you know, the puppet's getting, you know, Pepper gets do all the attention. Do you think wanted to do stuff without Emu? Oh, oh without yeah, Emu. yeah, yeah. He was, a, he was a born entertainer, but Emu was always was always the star of the show. Oh. He used to wind him up. <laughs> but he has ultimate control over Emu. No, but people say, when you come on the show? And he go, what, me? And he go, no, no, with Emu. We want <laughs> you and Emu. SDM's made a very good point here. He says... Um, that song is so wrong for Keith to sing because you can just imagine him shoving his hand up Orville and singing, can you feel it? Can you feel it? <laughs> and what, I mean, what was your feelings on the, the cheeky monkey? Chuckles, Chuckles the, the monkey. monkey. Uh, to me, it's always like <coughs> a second-rate thing. You know, my friend Danny was one of Keith Harris's dancers mm. when he was when Keith Harris did a rival TV show to the Pink Windmill show. Um, Danny was one of the... Um, like pink windmill kids but for keith harris there was like four or five sort of scouse northwest kids doing like high kicks and stuff um yeah the friend of dale's dale ibbotson is friends with uh keith harris's daughter kitty uh, he's just said oh, it's, it's out kitty's done, dad 
Some panto with his daughter, hasn't he? Yeah, you'll have to um, send that clip to Kitty Dale. See if she's seen it before. Um, Alex Clark says, we don't have that on record. Do you have no Keith Harris on record, Alex? Oh, you must have made an LP, mustn't he? Yeah, you must have a bit of Keith. Just not Keith Harris sings, can you feel it? Um, we do have Nucky the Bear, but it was Cuddles the Monkey, people are saying. Mm. Cuddles the Monkey had no teeth, and you just go, I hate that duck. <laughs> yeah, it's always a little bit... I um, hate that duck. He was always... He was always it only could only come on if um, the, uh, the the spot was more than five minutes. Well, the the well, he he would only come on if Orville wasn't there. I know, but Orville was always the number one king, wasn't he? Yeah, but you couldn't he couldn't do both. No, but I'm uh, saying you'd only see chuckles. Sorry, chuckles, chuckles, chuckles. Chuck- cuddles. You'd only see cuddles if um, Keith's spot was longer than five or ten minutes. Um, no, I think Cuddles had his own little moments. Did he? Yeah, especially on the Keith Harris show, the half hour program. But no one wanted to see an angry orange monkey. No. They wanted to see a, a little... Quite odd, wasn't it? A strange little green bird. Baby bird. And I wasn't... Were you taken with that Lord thingy? The one with the monocle? I wasn't happy about Orville's nappy, to be honest. Mm. It all felt a bit wrong. It all felt a bit like... You know when you see them documentaries about like bank managers that dress up as but, babies? But it was to reinforce that Orville was just a little baby duck. But that's what I'm saying. I don't think Orville was... I think Orville might have been like a middle-aged bank manager duck, mm. but had a fetish for baby. And Keith was like his sort of dirty fetish nanny. Oh, you think he might be disabled? No! Oh. You know them bank managers that dress up as babies and go oh, to like yeah, fetish yeah. things? Mm. I think that's what was going on. <coughs> St. Orville's disabled. But you know these bank managers who dress as babies? They actually follow through, don't they? <laughs> Well, I think they like getting washed and wiped. And I saw a documentary once, I must be Channel 4 or Channel 5, where a, a woman will come in and then give him a bit of bitty. <laughs> God, can you imagine that? Can you imagine if that was your job? Do you remember there was a... I've got Mr Burns coming round in half an hour, so strip the back bedroom. Do you remember there was a document- get the out. documentary about awful fetishes and it involved a cheese grater? No, oh, you I remember. About living, I remember the one about living dolls, where men walk, walk travel <laughs> around with a massive six foot, not a blow up doll, but a proper rubber. We shouldn't. Lay, be, we're not kink shaming at all. We're just giggling. No, I find that, I find these things completely interesting. The dolls, I I find really interesting because the guy went round the supermarket in America, like Walmart, <laughs> with his, for outfits with his doll. Yeah, or is she in the car? She's in the. She's oh no, she went with the car. Or is she in that little bit of the trolley? I don't know, but he went out and bought her an outfit, and he didn't buy a nice outfit, did he? They do take them out for meals and stuff, though, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember there was another fetish of people who want to dress up as a doll, and they wear like a full like oh, the rubber, rubber masks, suit. With little holes in. Yeah, a full like rubber woman suit. That was that was. Um... A couple of people remember the cheese grater. <laughs> was Keith and was Keith Harris? We'll go back to nicer things. Yeah, sorry, what. Was Keith Harris ever on a reality show? He did. Did, did yeah, he do I the jungle so. or did he do the farm? He might have done the farm. Did he not do that thing where they go around on a old tour on a tour bus with like Bernie Clifton? No, 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 no. Not not back to Las Vegas with Sue Pollard and Anita Harris. Oh, was that thing called the Entertainers? Remember, Bernie Manning was on it. Yeah, yeah, no, he, I mean, he might have been he on was that. Following, he was following no, I'm he's... talking about a docu, like Big Brother or. Oh, okay, like a reality show. Yeah, the uh, the farm or. Well, when did Shory when... did one of them? When did Keith leave us? It was it was quite a while ago, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know. Um, Neil Sandro says Jamie has just ruined my childhood. <laughs> How has he done that? I don't know. What by saying that Orville might be a middle aged bank manager duck. <laughs> Who has a baby fetish that Keith Harris is feeding. Um, Cy Slimber says, Alan, you need to get some Lemsip. I've got um, Lemsip styles. Linda LeHue says, I saw that, Alan. <laughs> and I thought, easy money. Wish I'd thought of that before teaching the fetishy milkmaid one. Wiping people's eyes. <laughs> literally, Linda, you'll remember this. This She was a big woman, right? So she's proper like maternal, like nanny fodder. She had, you know, she had big boobs. Um, so he literally turned up in his business suit. She put him in his little nappy, put him in a in a cot for half an hour. She'd have a sleep. She went to have a cup of tea and watch Loose Women. 
<laughs> he then cried. For, I think he cried for a bit. She came in with a bottle or a boob. I, can't, I, mean, I think it was a bottle. Changed his nappy because he'd done a little whoopsie. Um, had another little sleep. Then he went home. And she got like a few hundred quid. Yeah. <laughs> Alex Johnson, I remember a bloke on the Vanessa show who was a grown baby. They were called Hazel Babies for some reason. He slept in a giant cot and this woman ran a hotel for them. Yeah. And the man next door moved out. <laughs> and they had extra large dump, uh, pacifiers or dummies, whatever. Um, Alex Clark would like to uh, re- let us know. Alex has got a, um, a single... Um, of a song sung by Ruth Maddoch and Bill Tarnby, who is Jack Duckworth. And he's got a charity single sung by the two of them, and he says it's bloody fantastic. I think I think Bill Tarnby, um, Jack Duckworth, had a lovely voice, quite a good voice. I know they used to take the piss out of him on Corey when Jack used to put his white, white, white seal on. But I don't, I don't think his voice was that bad. It was a bit like uh, you know, like old Crooney, wasn't it? It was yeah, a bit Barry from his A lot standards. of singers from, that, from the 70s were like that, weren't um, they? Keith Harris passed in 2015 and he was also on The Farm. I would say he um, did something like that. Though. Yeah, and David T. Smith says Keith Harris was on The Slammer. I don't know what The Slammer is. Is that like a prison? It's not the one that Isabel's in, is it? Hello. Oh, you mean the kids' programme? Little dog is jumping up here. Um... Right, we should most probably go because this dog is. Jump, jump up, or are you going to growl? No, she'll growl. Don't, don't pick her up. It might hurt her. No. Jump up here. Especially if she needs a loo. Yeah. We should go. I think the dog needs the loo. And I need some medication. Um, Pipdoski is laughing at on the bot bot. <laughs> on the bot bot. Silla Black says Ruth and Bill's single. Um, something new. Something we need in here. Um, and there was also an. A single I found of Crossroads, wasn't there, that Alex and Mark don't know about. We don't know about it. And it's called Goodbye. And it's sung by Shona Lindsay. And it's a single that came out when Crossroads finished in, like, 92 or 88 or whatever it was. Didn't Noel sing Goodbye on a, on a show when she was skimming the sack? Yeah. No, this goodbye. is another This is another single. Um, anyway. <coughs> right, lovelies. Good night, everyone. Alan's gradually dying. Um, we will end with Sue Pollard and the Clowns um, in honour of Here She Is on Saturday night. So remember to tune in to Here She Is on Saturday night, uh, just after Strictly. Um, lots of love to everyone. John Cooper's in the house. Hello, Hello John. John. Darlings. I hope you've been here to listen to the Keith Harris uh, tales. Cause I'm, you must have worked with him. I bet you've worked with him. All right, loves. Um, we'll see you in a couple of weeks, my darlings. Is it a couple of weeks or three weeks? I think it's three, oh, weeks. three weeks. Last week in November. Three weeks, my darlings. All right, dolls. Um, lots of love. Have a good week and weekend. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Day by day. Day by day. song, let them know. The cast of Brookside with special guest Ruby Turner.
you want to look at this? Yeah. <laughs>